How you guys feeling? Good? All right, well, I hope you had time to digest your food and you didn't overstuff yourselves because this gentleman right here is, he's about to take you guys and do some really bad stuff, and I'm a little scared. He's from Plyo City, Mike Rangel. Now, he's in charge of training these two guys over here. Karch Cry, Mike Lambert, also Kerry Walsh, Misty May. And I'm about to turn all of you guys over to him. I wish you all the best of luck. You ready? Absolutely, Michelle. We're going to go through the workout that we do uh, the last four years with uh, Karch Key Ride, the last three seasons with Mike Lambert. We're not going to dial it up to the highest level because I don't want to kill anybody today, but I can assure you at the end of our 30 to 40 minute session, it will be one of the toughest workouts you've ever been through, no matter what shape you're in. With that, I want to introduce the athletes to my left. Uh, the first gentleman to my left was a two-time Olympian, All-American in college, uh, one of the top beach players in the world, and most people will tell you that he is the best player in the world. In my opinion, he is, in many people's opinion. I want to have you guys have a nice welcome for uh, Mike Lambert. The gentleman to his left uh, needs really no introduction. Uh, he's won 148 career beach wins, three Olympic gold medals, two indoors, one on the sand. He was also voted the most influential person in the history of volleyball, sand or indoor. We're excited about showing you ladies and showing you elite volleyball players what we do to be the best, particularly what they do. And so with that in mind, I think we're going to get right into it. You're going to do what they do. We're going to walk down right here. We're going to each grab a medicine ball. So let's go. What we're going to do today is just our exact workout that we do during We're not going to change anything. We're just going to go a little bit lighter. What we'll be able to tell is how quick, how fast, how easily these girls adapt to moving left, moving forward. Let's just do one lap. Karch and Lambo, you lead them. Let's get warmed up. One lap. And what you're going to find is the girls who can adapt quicker are your better athletes. And in the long run, will probably play better at a higher level. These are called two-hand chest tosses. Ready? Go! They will definitely feel it in terms of, you know, people come up to us at tournaments and they say, you know, how do you, how do you guys move around in that stuff and jump and run? I can't even walk in this stuff. The height should go about one to two feet above the person's head. That's just a little bit higher unless you're playing with Wilt Chamberlain. They're so used to that nice, sure, hard footing of indoor volleyball that it takes some getting used to and it's not going to happen all at once, but you might as well jump into the fire at some point. Ready, go. Let's go, ladies. We're just getting warmed up. Ready, go. Push it, push it. Let's be quick. Get set up. Go, just like you're digging a ball. Go, four more. Go, way to work, Karchi. Watch Karch and Lambo. Working out with Karch Cry and Michael Lambert was just freaking over my head. It was so awesome to just be like on the same sand court as these two phenoms and it's just, you know, it, it's awesome. Two more after this, go! Bio training was, was not that exciting. I mean, it is exciting, but I was just really like, it's gonna be death. Go, quick, get those feet moving, like two pistons, go! Push, 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 go! Well, what it is, it's I think two major elements. First of all, you got the sand. Your feet cannot get the kind of traction you get indoors. Secondly, it's sun. It's 80, 85, sometimes 95 degrees outside. So you throw in those two elements. And then you throw in the factor that we do our movements with a medicine ball. You've now got three things that work against you at all times. Go, catch your breath. In college, I would like, you try to stay, like, stay right next to someone you know is going to be really fast to push you even faster. And so, I don't know, I tried to get next to him because I wanted to see if I could stay with him. 10 seconds, you gotta wind it. Let's go, let's go. Back to the middle. It was the toughest conditioning I've had in 30 minutes my whole entire life. Way to work out here. <laughs> it was just intense to have that much training in that short a time. And breathing afterwards was a little bit difficult. <laughs> All right, everybody in real tight. Let's go, everybody in real quick. Let's go, let's go. 